guys, it's Eric here at Farpoint Farms. I am making a one-year follow-up video on this. This is the Earthquake 5-ton electric splitter. It's a small log splitter by anybody's account, and it is um, the, probably the weakest log splitter you're going to get. The question I got in the comments is, how's it holding up? How's it working? And I'm happy to report, as you can see, we've got quite a pile of behind me here, that I really don't have a ton of complaints. Will it split every single log I put on it? No, no, it definitely won't do that. But it splits about, what, 90, 95% of them. There are some big ones, uh, locust wood especially, if it's a big hunk and it has some knots in it that it struggles with, you have to rotate it a few times. And, uh, and it's certainly not the fastest thing, but overall I'm very pleased with it. So I'm going to go ahead and split a few logs here. If you have any questions about this, the one thing I do know that I can tell you that I don't think I had in there last year because I hadn't used it enough is you want to have this on the shortest extension cord run possible. So we have it up against the garage here. I have like a 20 foot at most cord and it's a good 20 amp cord and that helps a lot with power. The last time I filmed a video we were over there by the log pile and that's pretty far run from where our power comes into the house and it was on a 50 foot extension cord that was like a 12 gauge or maybe even a 14. And so it did struggle a little bit more. I found that the more amperage that's available to it, it'll use it and it'll really help. I do wear safety glasses, and uh, sometimes you'll see these logs come flying out in whatever direction they want to, so uh, it gets exciting. Let's do it. You just hold down the safety lever. It's a two-handed operation so that you don't get a hand in the way. As long as both hands are on these buttons, technically you should not hurt yourself. If you have a person that is helping you, they better keep your hands out of here because I don't care what you think about five tons being weak or strong, but it's plenty enough to take off any body part that gets wedged between these two pieces. Let's do it. As you can see, it kind of shoots them out a little bit. This one's got some termite damage. It's a bigger one. Let's see if it works. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> nice dry wood, too. Reposition. And so you get the idea. It works. Sometimes you do need to change the angle a little bit. But I mean, that's a piece of locust there with a big knot in it. Just broke that in half. It's nice. Let's try a smaller hand. This one's fairly heavy, so it's still a little wetter than some of the other pieces. Also, if you hold down the lever here, it stops the unit from moving all the way back, so it's a little quicker, because it does take a while for it to come forward until it engages. So I've just found if you can do this one-handed, like I've got the tractor here close enough to it, it definitely seems to help. Yeah, I don't know. This is a pretty wet piece of wood. They're not going to do this one. And so, to be honest with you, there are definitely going to be pieces that just don't split. But the majority of them do just fine. Woo! <laughs> well, that one went places. Yeah, it'll go. <laughs> so... There you go. I mean, we're just splitting a little bit of wood here. I'm not going to bore you with doing a half a quart of wood, but uh, I do want you to understand, yeah, it has limitations. Yes, it has some, uh, some limitations both in, in how big a piece of wood it'll split or if it'll split everything. You did not want to split that one right there. That was a pretty wet piece of wood, and, it, and so you'll have to go out and get an axe for that one. But, man, it saves your back a whole lot of trouble, and that's really why we got it. I love to split wood, but with the injuries that I've sustained as a mechanic and as a small farmer over the years, it's getting harder and harder for me to justify swinging an axe, even though I enjoy it, because of the risks and damage to my back. So for that reason alone, I would say, yeah, go ahead and get it. We got this one at Lowe's. I think they're available elsewhere. Probably get it online as well. But that'll do it for today, my friends. Take care.